Okay, boys, today we're going to be getting the Black Steel Twin Blade, okay? Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, so the first step. You're going to need to kill Rolana to get here. But once you kill Rolana and get to the little castle that she res resides in, after you defeat her, you're going to come out the store, and you're going to hit the High Road Cross gravesite. Okay, now from this grace, you're going to want to go all the way up through this little tent village. And then right when you get out of the tent village, you're going to want to hang out really hard left. And then go straight up this little hill. And you're going to meet three tents, okay? This is where we want to be. I'm going to show you the exact round on torrent real quick so you don't get lost. Okay, boom, right there. This is the guy we're going to need to kill. So right when you kill him, he's going to drop it, and then... Merry days, merry days. There we go, there we go. Okay, now you run, now you run. Okay, so once you get the weapon, you are going to need a stat requirement of 18 strength, 15 dex, and 13 faith. And it's not a somber weapon, so you can put your own actual war on it. It starts off with spinning slash, which ain't too bad, I guess, but, uh... Not my fave. But you got your light attacks. You got your heavy attacks. Your charged heavy attacks. Dodge into a light attack. Dodge into a heavy attack. Your jump attack. So it's a pretty nice weapon. Standard twin blade. Nothing too fancy. But uh... Looks kind of nice. You don't really see a lot of non somber weapons with a fate requirement. But uh... I mean, that's good if you're a faith user. But yeah, it's a pretty fun weapon, pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoy using it, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.